Welcome to our channel Engineering Debunk. So today we are going to discuss the interview question which was asked in ISA Bangalore. And the question was, how will you decide if a coin is given to you and you need to answer whether the coin is biased or not? So the most common way to answer this question is by flipping a coin, right? Let's say we flip a coin 10 times and we are getting heads for only 3 times then there is little to conclude but what if we flip a coin thousand times and we are getting heads for only 300 times then we can surely say that the coin is biased towards the tail side right because if it is a fair coin then the number of heads should be around 500 let's understand this further with the help of binomial distribution so what i am assuming here is that you guys are familiar with the concept of binomial distribution so let's take a quick look on the formulas of binomial distribution and then we will see the graph of binomial distribution. So the formula for binomial distribution is p of x is equals to nc of x ncx into p raised to x into q raised to n minus x where n is equals to number of trials, x is equals to number of successes, p is equals to probability of success, q is equals to probability of failure and the formula for mean variance and standard deviations are shown here right so now let's take a look on the graph of binomial distribution so here we have binomial distribution of a fair coin flipped 10 times let's say we want to find out probability of getting exactly 5 heads or exactly 4 heads in 10 tosses all these probabilities are shown here in this sheet. We can see that probability of getting exactly 5 heads is 0 0.2461. So if we multiply this by 100, it's nearly equal to 25%. And similarly, we can find out probabilities for all the other values as well. Now, let's increase our number of tosses from 10 to 100. So here you can see we have changed the value of n from 10 to 100. Now what we want to do here is move one standard deviation away from our mean on both the sides. So what do I mean by moving away by one standard deviation is here we can see value of our mean is equals to 50 and value of our standard deviation of binomial distribution which is represented by sigma is equals to 5. So let's move 5 steps away from our mean on both the sides. So we are moving 5 steps on the right hand side of our mean and on the left hand side as well. Now we want to find out probability of number of heads falling in the range of one standard deviation. That value is shown here which is equals to 0.7287 so if you multiply this by 100 it is nearly equal to 73 percent now we are moving further away by one standard deviation so five steps on this side and five steps on this side as well so now if we check the probability of number of heads falling in the range of two standard deviation is 0.9648 which is nearly equal to 97%. So we can say that probability of number of heads falling in the range of two standard deviation is 97%, right? And we can verify this value from our sheet as well. So if you add all the probabilities in the highlighted region, it will add up to 0 0.9648, okay? Let's call this 100 coin tosses equals to one set and we are doing 100 sets of this. So what we can comment about this 100 sets? One thing we can surely say that out of 100 sets, 97 sets will have number of heads in the range of 40 to 60 or two standard deviation. So let's conclude our discussion here. I hope you guys are now able to answer the interview question. 
प्लीज लाइक द वीडियो शेयर द वीडियो एंड सब्सक्राइब टू आर चैनल थैंक यू